<laughs> I've said many times here on Undisputed, I've never understood the fascination with Trey Young. High turnovers, shaky three-point shooter, defensive liability, about five feet, 11 inches tall. And that's even though he played at the school I grew up loving, University of Oklahoma. So last night, Trey had five turnovers in the first quarter Jeez. as the Hawks fell behind 40 to 22. And Trey wound up shooting only four of 12 as the Hawks were eliminated 131 to 116. So Keyshawn, you've said you would not mind seeing Trey Young in a Laker uniform even next season. Do you still feel that way? You know, I do. If if and the only reason why is because the, the chatter has been around for a little bit, right? And he's it's, a clutch client. And he's a clutch client, yeah. and I get the whole, you know, thing that they do at times with players uh, that they represent. He also maintains a residence here in Southern California. Not far from um, yours. And... I understand what people think about defensive liability, have had turnovers in, in the past. People feel like you can't win with a small point guard as your best player. If he was to join the Lakers, I don't know that he's the best player. No, he's not. Okay, so, so that goes out the window. He now becomes the third best player. Now, what are we giving up to go get him? Well, all of that sort of stuff is what has to factor into it. But you can't tell me that he ain't good at what he does when he's right. It just, it, it, it just is. It can you put him, and I don't know who the, would be on the Lakers roster or whatnot, but can you, can, can you put him with Anthony Davis and LeBron James and maximize his talent at the level that will help you win another championship? Because <clears throat> you, you, we sit up here sometimes and act like when we have this conversation, that we got guards that actually defend. Like, I'm serious. Do we, Skip? I think Austin tries hard. That's not what I asked you, though, right? But, <laughs> you. but you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now you say, well, you giving up something. What are we giving up? This ain't Drew Holiday for, for uh, uh, Dame Lillard. No. He's not, not, none of these dudes are going to play defense. They all going to be defensive liabilities. But he got some stuff that works in L.A., that the snack crackle pop, he kind of like a little version of a Steph Curry to a degree. And I get it, I understand, but I like him, man. And I always ask this question, and people, you know, basketball players look at me like I've got frogs on my face, because I'll ask you the question. When the Luka situation came up with the trade for Trey Young, and they swapped, at the end of the day, the Mavericks in the same spot they was in, and so is Atlanta. Both of these teams and players have advanced their teams to the Western and the Eastern Conference Final. That's pretty, neither one of them won MVP, neither one of them won championships, but many people will feel you can win, uh, you get closer to winning a championship with Luka than you do Trey Young as the number one guy. And that may be true. Would you take Trey over Luka right here, right now? No, I would no, not. No, nobody No, would. I wouldn't. No. Just no. size alone, I wouldn't. Well, that means but seven inches whole, different. But my yeah. whole point is, my whole <laughs> point, on. though, Skip, is they both landed Two different teams, but they done landed in the same spot. They ain't brought me home yeah, nothing. We're, we're, this story that's all is about I'm to saying. be told in that, Dallas. That's all Let's I'm see. saying. Yeah. That's Let's, all I'm saying. You got more wins in Dallas than they do yeah. in that, that, I mean, they, Atlanta. They, I understand. Atlanta, since they went to the conference finals, I haven't. They, ha they haven't got any better. I mean, I look at their talent. I think they got a talented squad. I mean, you got Hunter, Capella, mm -hmm. uh, Bondanovic. Yeah. I mean, these guys are really good role players, but. The ceiling of this team has... And DeJounte, obviously. And DeJounte, 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 obviously yeah. Another all-star. Yeah. Another clutch guy. <laughs> uh, you know, so I just think, you know, on the Lakers, if you say, can I see him on the Lakers, I don't see a good fit. Mm. That's I don't, I don't yeah, see I don't the, know what that fit. be. I don't know what because it would be. Because Trey Young, he's averaged 25 and 11 for, like, what, three straight years, I 20, believe. 26, and like, 11 assists. 25 and, and, and double-figure assists for, like, three straight seasons, I believe. Nobody, you know, we don't, I don't know nobody who's done that in quite some time or if anybody's done that. Um, it's just he needs the ball is what I'm saying. When he, he does. You know, he's, he's a... And, and we all know LeBron needs the ball. He needs a, LeBron needs a certain type of player around him to fit with him. You know, so in L.A., it just don't, it don't look right. It don't feel right. Uh, does he need a change of scenery? I believe he does. Uh, I'm just not sure where that is right now. And like I said before, and I said it many times, you can't win with the point guard being your best player, especially a small guard. I it's only happened three or four times in NBA history. Magic Johnson. Six, nine. Okay. 
or just a point guard in general. Okay. Magic, Isaiah, Steph Curry, and, you know, I guess you can argue Chauncey Billups, you, you know, in do, Detroit. You, but, yeah. you know, you had Rip Hamilton. I mean, you could argue you could argue AI, but AI was more But they didn't truth, win a championship. And they didn't win the championship. Yeah, and so I'm not sure if there's a good fit for them, but I know it's not the Lakers. But see, I, but, know, but, I know it's not but, the Lakers. You say, well, LeBron needs the ball, but we're still talking about a 40-year-old LeBron that is seemingly pushing back but on he hasn't, the ball. But he hasn't changed his game. He hasn't changed his game. Now, if he did more of, all right, I need to be off the ball more and post it up more, so now I need a guard to bring it up, make plays for me, and, and, and be an assist guy so I can, like, get the ball in, in the spots where I only needed one or two dribbles to get to the basket, I get it. That makes more sense. But since LeBall, LeBron is going to be on the ball for the rest of his career, and he's not going to change for nobody, and you're going to have to adjust to that. And I just don't see a fit with Trey Young. Where did this come from anyway, though, Skip? The Laker uniform. What, what did it come from? Like, being in the Laker uniform next season. I thought it came from you. No, no, no. It didn't come from me. They, they started this before the trade deadline. I'm sure it's a clutch story that somehow is out so there. So if it's a clutch story that's yeah. somehow out mm -hmm. there, then I would assume that King James is aware of this and knows that if this was to ever happen, he would have to change his game he or else would. he's going to fall into another bad situation as a GM. What was the biggest mistake LeBron ever made? Was Russell I knew Westbrook. I he was going to say that. Well, it yes, just is. Yeah. And there's a lot of Russell Westbrook operating in Trey Young. And Trey, by the way, Trey is, he's a good guy. He's a nice guy. He's fun to be around. So that's never an taller issue. Taller than what I thought. You think so? Yeah, taller than what I, I thought he was. I thought he was way shorter. I, I, he might be six feet, but he's not over six feet tall. I'm just saying he was taller yeah. than what I thought. Okay. He's been six years in this league now. He has led the NBA in total turnovers over those six years by far. He's 100 more than Luka has over the last six years that he has been mm. in this league. That's a lot of turnovers. It's almost 2,000. No, I'm sorry. It's 1,696, but it's 100 more than Luka. And Damn. he has played in... Well, played. I bet to his credit, he probably is a two-to-one turnover ratio out to his yeah. credit. I bet that. Okay, but... He's a very good passer, but he's a flashy passer because he tries, because Atlanta sells him as their box office because they couldn't draw until they got him. And he became, to your point, a big box office yeah. draw in yeah. Atlanta because he's fun to watch and the kids love him because they can identify, they can relate the way they do to Steph. Because he's right. little and you can say, I can do that. I can, I can yeah. play like that. But he'll try passes that are just crazy. And last night, DeJounte's body language was telling me that he was just getting sick and tired of watching that mess in the first quarter because that's five turnovers. It's just hard to, to <laughs> stomach. And I think we have the six. He had six for the game. If we could see him real quick, just to, he, he'll just suddenly try just about anything because he's got one of those two green lights. This is right away. That's... I mean, he's dealing so, with a broken hand, too. Yeah. No, he just came back. Yeah, I know, back. but that, that hand ain't all yeah. the way healed. If you're okay. wearing that... <laughs> that's that, that's Westbrookian to me. And, okay, that's a bad idea. It's triple covered. And I'll try ah! that. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. no. Yeah, that definitely felt like yeah. something had to do with the hand. Okay. And that, he just threw it right to Caruso. Okay. And that's what Phil Jackson used to call a compound F-U. Okay. And there you go. Those are six turnovers. Okay. So here's... In 31 playoff games that he has played, counting the play-in games, he has shot 29% from three. So he's been cold, a cold three-point shooter in the playoff games. Mm -hmm. and, and if you'll allow me to cherry-pick just a couple. So remember the classic <laughs> game seven, it became the Ben Simmons game when Ben wouldn't shoot the, the – yeah. or he wouldn't dunk it or whatever he didn't do. But in that game, Trey was – that was game seven at Philly. He yeah. went five of 23, two of 11 from three with six turnovers. And then remember the Heat series in 2022, it was a five-gamer in the first round, oh, but yeah, they, they got awesome. knocked out in five games. And, and in that, he shot seven of 38 from three. That's 18% from three in the five games against the Heat. So in that series, he had 31 turnovers to 30 assists. So that was upside down on your yeah. turnover ratio. Yeah. So my point is that that's pretty much who he is. He's fun to watch. And he is a gifted passer, but LeBron's a better passer. He just yeah. is. LeBron's still, to me, the best passer in basketball, 
and I want LeBron to initiate the offense for most of the game. Maybe down the stretch, you start to share the ball more.